Hello everybody, my name is Mike Geig. Last night I saw a video uh, on how to make a game in Unity in three minutes. And I thought, you know, that's that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that we've, you know, come to a, a, a point in game development where we can make anything playable in such a short period of time. Uh, and actually the video will be linked in, in the description below if you want to check it out if you're on YouTube. Um, but it got me thinking, so you can make a video game, a fairly basic video game in three minutes. Uh, I wonder if you can make Pong in four. And so uh, that's what this video is going to be. It's going to be me attempting to make Pong in four minutes. Now, I have not actually done any time trial, so I don't know how fast I can make Pong, uh, but it, uh, it's something worth uh, trying out here. So um, we'll see if we can't get this to, to be pretty quick. Now, I do want to point out that this will just kind of be the, the spirit animal of Pong, uh, the basic gameplay mechanics, not necessarily all of the, the way it looks and everything like that. We, we do want to keep this fairly straightforward and simple. So, it's four minutes, uh, not a lot of time. So anyway, uh, get your, your, your timers out here and we'll, we'll see if we can't, uh, make this happen. I'm gonna go ahead and prep here, uh, mouse over the create button and, uh, we'll see how quickly we can do this and, Hopefully we can be successful. All right, so I'll, I'll count us down here. Three, two, and go. All right, so I'm going to create two cubes, and I'm going to create a sphere and a directional light. Boom, get out of here, directional light. Take this cube, and I'm going to name it Bump 1, and I'm going to place it at negative 9, 1, 0, with a scale of 0.5, 3, 1. Fantastic. We're going to duplicate that. We're going to call the duplicate bump 2, and we're going to put it at 9. All right. Our sphere is going to go at 0, 1, 0, and we are going to give it a rigid body right there, and we're going to turn off use gravity. Fantastic. Our final cube is going to go at 0, negative 5, 0, with a scale of 23, uh, uh, 23, yep, yep, that's good. And we'll duplicate that, and we'll put this one at positive 7. Fantastic. Go to our main camera, and we'll set our main camera to be orthographic with a size of 6. There we go. Do note that I'm in 69 aspect ratio. If yours doesn't look the same as mine. All right. So then we're going to go ahead and hack our input. We want this to be a two-player game, so we're going to go ahead and modify horizontal. We're going to kind of steal. We're going to change a positive button to Q there. I'm going to go ahead and create a new physics material, which I will call bouncy. Guess what that does. All right. And we're going to make this 0, 0, 1. Minimum friction, maximum bounce. Fantastic. Come over here to the project settings, the physics settings. I'm going to make that our default uh, material for everything. And point 0.1, bouncy threshold. Okay. We're going to create two scripts. We're going to create a ball script, and we're going to create... <clears throat> a control script. Fantastic. Control is going to go in the paddles. Ball is going to go in the ball. And then we'll go ahead and open this up. And here we go. And so the control, we are going to say float speed equals 0.2f. Sorry for the mechanical keyboard if I'm deafening anybody. Game object dot name equals bump one. This is first player. And we're going to say transform dot translate and we are going to say zero input dot get axis horizontal even though it's a horizontal axis we are using it to control the vertical direction uh, a little hacky like that all right could have done it great if i had five minutes now this will work just fine all right so that is our paddle and now let's move on to our ball our ball, we're basically going to want to keep, be able to keep track of directions. So float speed x, uh, float speed y, and then we're going to say uh, sx equals random dot range. Uh, well, 0, 2 equals 0. Using ternary operator here, negative 1, else 1. Grab that line. Paste it, sy. There we go, and then in we also want to say uh, rigid body dot velocity equals new vector three. We want to give it some speed here, and we're going to say random not ran uh, random uh, dot range 
five ten times speed x random dot range five ten times speed y and zero. Okay, fantastic. That is it. Let's see here. That should be the whole thing. Let's go ahead and try it out. Make sure I didn't have any errors here. And we have Pong. All right. So that is Pong in, I have not checked my time. So um, I'll have a little call out here in the video to see if I made it. But uh, there you go. That's Pong in a short amount of time. I don't know how much time. I'm guessing it was about four minutes uh, just by looking at the recording uh, timer here but uh, we'll see so anyway um, that is Pong in four minutes approximately maybe uh, unedited and I apologize I originally was thinking about editing it so you didn't hear the loud crazy annoying sounds of my mechanical keyboard but then I thought no nah, everyone's just gonna think I faked it if I if I edit it in any way so I made it completely unedited uh, thank you to the people that made the, uh, I can't think of your name right now, but I'll look up your video here in a second and put it in the description. Uh, but thank you for making the uh, Unity game in three minutes. That was pretty awesome and uh, uh, inspiring. And hopefully other people see that and, and want to make games really, really fast. So uh, enjoy.